What's up everyone, Zach aka McRageapants here and today we are going to be playing Crypt of the Necrodancer. And as you can see it is still an alpha, it's just a, a super fun casual game that I've found and I've been playing quite a bit of and I thought I'd share it with all you lovely people. Um, so we're going to get into this, shall we? Now the whole story behind this game is I think the Necrodancer has stolen away your heart. And you're on a journey into the depths of his thing to basically retrieve your heart. I don't know what this does. I've actually never seen it. Shrine of Peace. I have no idea what that just did. But yeah, you're trying to just find your heart. Um, basically so you can go out, go about living your life like a normal human being. Um, that's about all we know. Now, the... The actual gameplay of this game is some of the most fun that I've probably ever played. Um, the combat is deceptively simple. Um, and all of your motions have to be in line with the beat, or at least close. Because you're, you're necro-dancing. I don't know. Um... But if you're off, if you're off the beat, you're not allowed to move, and you actually lose whatever multiplayer uh, that you had. Okay, so I need a key. So we're actually gonna try to find this key. This is also new. Um, every so often, like there's there's so much stuff in this game that even I've I've probably played it uh, probably an hour and a half before this video is recorded. Um, so, oh sweet, the key. Uh, Let's see. For, uh, I know what this is. Uh, I can either give up two hearts and I can get a weapon. So we're going to give up two hearts and get a spear. Because the spear is actually a super good weapon. Um, and all the weapons have a different uh, mechanic. So like, uh, you start the game with a dagger, which is very basic. It only attacks the one block in front of you. Uh, you can get a, uh, the spear, which attacks two blocks in front of you. Uh, so you can... It's, good, it's slightly ranged, in a way. So that's awesome. Winged boots. I'm flying. Mom, get the camera. Yeah, see, so it attacks two uh, boots ahead, uh, places ahead of you. I have no idea what benefit this gives me, but it is freaking sweet. And every level has a boss, like that one. We're gonna grab this. I don't know what it does. And a fireball spell. Okay. So that was a good shop. And after a while, they start singing. Come on, sing for me, man. Um, speaking of singing, actually, I want to mention that this game has some of the best music that I've ever heard um, in a video game. Which is awesome because it is, like, based around music. That's a fireball. Yeah. Blood Whip. I actually don't know what the Blood Whip does, so we're going to try it out. Yeah, see, he's starting to sing. Um, but this is a, just a game. It's a dungeon diver thing. And... Basically, if you like a good old-fashioned dungeon crawl, this is the game for you because it's... It's super fun. Um, oh, that's cool. I don't know. I don't. I still don't really know what this weapon does. Uh, ring of gold acquired. Sweet. All right. So that's the boss. Uh, looks like it'll be a minotaur, which are kind of dangerous. The last one was a. Uh... Oh my. Yeah, the last one, it was that golden bat was the boss. Every level has a boss, uh, every floor has a boss. And in order to move on, really, you have to get the boss. Oh my god, I'm so, I'm gonna die in this next, next level. Bip, bip. And we're gonna grab this. Oh! Oh my god! Okay, that's also new. Chest Mimic. Okay, I didn't know that was an enemy. I probably should have noticed it bouncing up and down. Anyway, so basically now you just go to the return to the lobby and you um, you probably saw me picking up some diamonds. Now here's where you pick up diamonds so you can get stuff. 
So cheese is unlocked. So next time I make a run, I can... There's a possibility for me to find cheese. And I can't afford anything in that, so... Um, the reason why it's kind of hard um, to really get any of those upgrades is because you lose all of your diamonds uh, every time you oh. run. And the enemies, I forgot to mention this, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but... Um, enemies are extremely diverse, there are these green slime, they don't move at all. Uh, very simple, I usually deal with them last because, you know, they don't move. Um, this is actually my favorite song that he sings to. Now tell me if that's not the coolest thing you've ever seen. Um, yeah, so green slime, don't move at all. Blue slime, move up and down once. Um, there are yellow slime, which move in a square. Monkeys, which move faster than you, and they just jump on you. They don't do damage, necessarily. There are skeletons that don't, that always raise their arms before they move, so they're easy to predict, so you can get out of the way. Uh, there are bats that move randomly. There are zombies that just move back and forth. There are headless, uh, not the he uh, yeah, headless skeletons that you just knock off their head once and they run away. There are uh, dark skeletons that you have to attack multiple times. Um, there, are, there are dragons. There are minotaurs. And that's all. Like, I'm still finding new stuff that I didn't even know was in this game. We're actually gonna get in here for gold. Alright, so that's the boss. And I found the shop. I found the diamond, which every level has a diamond, and they don't roll over and in order to upgrade your stuff you have to spend diamonds. So boop. boop. Broadsword's is easily one of my favorite weapons in this game. That or maybe the, uh, hang on, what's in here? There's something blue there. Diamond! Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Oh, wow! I don't want this one, then. I, oh, wow, there are actually a lot of diamonds in this game. I thought it was just, like, one per level. I've never had this many diamonds. I want to have four now. Which is awesome. Okay, we need to get in there, so we're gonna put a bomb and hurt ourselves because we're dumb. Grab that. Grab ballet shoes. I don't know what ballet shoes do, but I want them. I don't know what like animals any of these upgrades do. Bap. 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 We're gonna find out what this is. Run a piece. Oh, it gives you full health. It gives you full health, but it takes away your weapon. That's interesting. Now, where is it? All right, cool. Boom. Boom, boom. Okay, so those green ones are the headless ones. Uh, and we just found a spear. Uh, so... Minotaur, oh god. Bap, bap, bap. About this game. Uh, what's in here? What is this? Oh my god, I regret everything. What is that? Oh my god. Okay, so. That was new. Black armored skeleton. Uh, so we're going to return to the lobby and we're going to spend these diamonds. Because we just got free diamonds. One more black chest per run. So that seems good. I don't know what the difference in chests are, but anything is good. More chests are always better. And I don't know if I've said this um, yet, but I, I love the music in this game. It's like up there in terms of like my favorite music in video games with uh, Rayman, uh, I think Origins. Um, one came out like several years ago for like uh, PlayStation and um, what is it called? 
Xbox. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and use the Shrine of Peace, just because we don't have anything besides a dagger, and we are a little wounded. Nope. Okay. Oh, Black Chefs have weapons. That would be handy then. That's the boss. Bip, bip. Yeah, so I kind of just wanted to show you this, guys. And every day there's actually a daily challenge, which depend on how long it takes for me to die again. I might actually just show you guys that. Uh, basically, it's a new map every day. Um, that's right, I already did today's daily death challenge. Never mind. I can't show you guys. Titanium Whip? I don't know what that does, but okay. Um. Yeah, um. It's a, it basically, it's a new map every day, um, and basically everyone tries it, and they compete to see who can do it the best. So if you're super competitive, that's probably going to be uh, the aspect of this game that's going to appeal most to you. We're going to grab a backpack, crown of teleportation. I don't know what the crown of teleportation does, but it's, it can't be bad. Smack him. And if you notice there are like traps occasionally placed on the floor. Cheese! Go and use that. Hip, hip. And there should be a diamond here. Oh my god, that's so awesome. Ooh, what's in here? A Dargan! Oh! If the boss hits you with the current teleportation on, you just TP somewhere safe. That's really that's actually a really good mechanic. Hang on. I don't want I actually don't want to go in there. Every time I go into Ooh, a silver key. Well now we have to find a silver chest. Yeah, it seems like every uh, very consistently if you start making it to the third. Um, that bat was annoying. But definitely go try this game out, guys. It's one of the more fun games that I've had a chance to play. Um, upgrade our shovel. I don't know why we need to upgrade our shovel, but I want. Oh, that's why. And there's a diamond. Oh yeah, the whip is OP. Yeah, it's only it's it's basically a better version of the broadsword. Park container. Yeah, oh uh, I just remembered as I was saying like the Oh my god, that dude hit so hard! Oh, and I almost beat it. I almost beat the level. Alright, but yeah, definitely guys, um, check out this game. If for no other reason than just to listen to this music, it's some of the best music I've heard in in games ever. Um, so, go check it out. It's on Steam. It's like $15. It is still an alpha, so be very wary if you don't like to buy games in like early development. Um, but yeah, check this out. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And uh, as always, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.